What is up, you guys and girls? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite penguin, the Penguinator. And today, I am showing you how to get all the upgrades for the Mark II ray gun, or the ray gun Mark II, however you want to say it. So I'm going to show you each and every step for the Kilowatt, the Brain Rot, the Firebomb, and the Cryo Freeze upgrades for the ray gun Mark II. So let's go ahead and hop into this video, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do for each and every step. Okay, so after you've spawned in the map, you got everything done and you have everything open, and you want to say, let's do the ray guns. So we want to get the ray guns, but we have to get three specific parts first. So what we're going to do is we're going to head right over here to the yellow house that is to the right of this red truck, and you're going to head right inside, and this is going to be your first part, and it's going to be these wires sitting right there, this tubing, it'll be sitting right there as Location number one. Location number two, if you come right up the stairs and you come right through here and you look right beside where he's coming out, it's going to be sitting right here on this little cushion. Location number three is going to be sitting right here underneath this lamp. That is all three locations for the tubing for the ray guns inside that house. So now what you're going to do is you're going to head down below. And the last two parts are in solitary and in uh, storage. So we're going to head through beds and we're going to head to the generators and then we're going to head into storage first. So when you come into storage, there's three locations. First location can be sitting right here on these barrels as you come into storage from generators. That is the first location. So you come up here, your second location can be sitting right here. As you can see, it'll be sitting right there on that shelf to the left as you come into storage from the barrels and your third and final location is going to be sitting right here to the right of this mannequin and this power switch. It'll be sitting right there on the stack of clean water barrels. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head to the solitary for your final part. So once you get into solitary, you're going to come up here and you're going to look right here at this desk where the secretary, I guess, is whatever she's supposed to be. And it can be sitting right here beside this little blue television box. That's the first location. Your second location, you come through, you turn right, and you look right here at this chair. That is your second location spawn point for this particular part. And your third and final location for this part, if you come right through here, as you can see, it'll be sitting right here on this little shelf roller. And it'll be to the left of these monitors. So if you come in here and you're like, okay, where is it at? You look at these monitors, look left. Oh, there it is. It's sitting right there. So now that you have all those parts, now you need to know where to take them to craft the ray gun mark two so that you can grab the uh frame so in order to be able to get the ray guns so you're going to head to the top of this house which is known as operations you're going to see the presidents and everything so you're going to come right through here and you're going to turn right around and there's your crafting table this is very important as you will need this for the next set of steps after you do or excuse me you'll need this after you do the next set of steps so let's go ahead and I'll show you what to do for the next set of steps. So the next set of steps, which um, I'll show you later on in the video, you need to find televisions like this. Now, as you can see, this one's off, but there's four locations for these televisions. The very first one is what I would call spawn. Uh, I think it's called site entrance, but it's right here. That is the very first location in that little corner. So then you're going to come right back here. You're going to come through the yellow house. And you're going to come out back into the backyard. And as you see, this one's on. And what you're going to see is this static. And what you do is you rock up, you hold square or X, and then it will begin playing some music and show you a picture of the Mark II ray gun. And then you become a, then it becomes a soul jar. And what you have to do is get several kills, depending on the TV. It's random. It can be three. It can be six. It can be eight. But you have to get soul kills or get kills for the souls to be sucked into the television. And then it will drop a number. And these TVs will show up in the order the numbers have to be inputted into Rushmore. So this would be number number one. And then you write that number down and move on to the next television. So the third television is going to be down. Both last two are going to be down here in the bunkers. But the third one is going to be over this way. And we're going to head to the diner area. So you come all the way through here, you see diner, you head up here to go to diner, and you're going to look at this perk machine by, and you look right down, oh, there it is, as you can see, and that's your third uh, television. 
So now at your fourth and final television, you need to go through generators, go through solitary, and come through APD control, and come right over here, and there's your fourth and final television. And again, it's random which order these are going to be in. You might have one up top, then one down below, then one up top, and then the other one down below. You, you, know, you never know. So now that you know where all the TVs are, you know what to do. When you turn them on, they become soul boxes and you get the numbers. Let me go ahead and fast forward and I'll show you exactly what you need to do after all the TVs are done. And then I'll show you how to do each and every single upgrade for the Raygun Mark II. Okay guys, so after you've completed getting everything opened up, you've done the Nova 6 lockdown. And as I said, you've done your television soul jars. As you can see, they now have numbers on them. But I'm not going to go around and show you each and every one that has been done because I already did that earlier and showed you where they were at. So after you get all of your numbers, you need to come in here to where Rushmore is. And right here in this keypad, you're going to input the numbers in the order that you got them. And after you press enter, as you can see right here where my character is, all the uh, Raygun Mark II frames come out of this printer. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pick one up. And after you pick one up, you need to have an element that has been pack-a-punched onto your weapon. Your four elements are Brain Rot, Kilowatt, Firebomb, and Cryofreeze. So let's go ahead and I'll show you which, uh, what to do for each individual element to get those ray guns upgraded. Okay, so for Brain Rot, once you have that on, you're going to be looking for these piles of dirt in several locations. I mean, they're pretty easy to spot because it's going to be smoking like this. But your first location is going to be right in the back of Yellow House. It's going to be sitting right there. Your second location for one of these piles of dirt is going to be sitting right here by the perk buy. It'll be sitting right there. And I think there's a third location. I've only ever had those two, but here's the third location right here. And I'm not sure if there's a fourth location. I know there's, there's these three, but that'll be in the back of the green house and green and white striped house will be sitting right there. Those are your three known locations. If there's a fourth one, please put it in the comments below. And I apologize if I missed it, but those are the main three. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back out here and with brain rot on your weapon, you're now going to try and get a zombie to come over here and shoot him and turn him into a brain rot zombie. And what he'll do is he'll immediately start heading towards that pile. And as you can see, it takes a bit. You do take several shots trying to get it done. But once you have one, there's my brain rot. He's heading towards the pile. He's ignoring the zombies. He smashes. And inside, which I already picked up. Hold on. Let me fast forward here just a little bit. I want to go back. I want, I want you to be able to see this part that's in there after he uh, smashed it. But... I ran over and picked it up too quick. Come on, zombie. I want to show my... Do you see? It was very brief. There it is. You get these ammunition canisters. So you pick that up, and once you have it, then that is when you have to move on to your next step, which is you will basically be chasing this orb around the map. So you pick it up, and there's your orb. Well, let me get the nuke out of the way. And as you can see, he's going to take off. And once it takes off, you're now going to have to find him in two teleporters. So you need to have the telepads ready to go. Do not place them anywhere yet if you're trying to do this step because you're going to have to pick them up and move them. So what he's going to do, again, is he's going to disappear. He's going to go to a random telepad. You don't know which one. And when he goes there, you're basically now, you have to go around and find the telepads like this. And he'll be hovering over it, so it'll be pretty easy to spot him. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go try and find him. So your telepads, you need to go where all the telepads are and check. Telepad number one is going to be near the perk machine right there at site entrance. Telepad number two for up here can be right in here. It'll be sitting right there. Uh, I can't remember what this section is called. It's right up here from Solitary, but that's telepad number two for up top. Your third telepad is going to be back this way. 
It'll be right beside power. That is your third telepad up top. And if you go back over here, your fourth telepad is going to be sitting right here behind this house. I think it's called Prisons. Is Prisoners is right here. That is your fourth telepad up top. And that's the only ones I know of up top. So now if you go down below, your telepads he can be at down below are going to be as follows. First one, you're going to have to go all the way over here to Diner. Come up here and you turn to your left. And there's your telepad in Diner. That is one location he can be at. Another location for him to spawn in at for a telepad is going to be Solitary. So you come up here through Solitary. And it can be... Oh no, that is a Solitary telepad. I apologize. So you need to come through here. And I think you're... There is another telepad over here. Where are you? This one of solitary. Okay, maybe not. Uh, I know there's another telepad down in this area. I just got to find it. I apologize. Maybe it's storage? Let me check. Nope. Okay, where are you? I know there's another telepad in here. There it is. Okay, <laughs> it's in the APD control. I knew, as you can see, that's where he's at. So now my character has to come down here and find him. And I'm just fast forwarding to that point. Okay, so my character found him, shot him, and now he's going to disappear into the telepad. And I placed the telepad right there. So now that he's going to disappear into it, I now have to go around and find him yet again. So once you find him, you do the same thing. You shoot him. And I'm just going to follow my character so you can see what I'm talking about. And as you can see, I'm just, there it is. That's the other one I was looking for. So I finally found him, and I place the telepad, I shoot him, and then he disappears, and I follow him. And then once you follow him, you're going to come back out, and you're going to have to go to a location. And he's basically just going to come right here, always into storage, on top of these bags. And then you're just going to have to go up there, activate him, by placing the ammo container, and then it becomes a soul jar. So as you can see, my characters are sitting there shooting zombies. It doesn't matter if the zombies are in the circle. You have to be in the circle. The zombies don't have to be in the circle. So you don't have to wait for them to get close. As you can see, he was on the stairs, and the souls are coming into the container. So once you get that filled up, the circle will disappear, as you can see. And now that you have it filled, you can see it sparking. You grab it, and you're going to head all the way back to operations and you're going to drop this off upstairs at the hold on I want you to be able to see this so I had to pause him so you're going to come up here and you're going to craft the ray gun and once you've crafted it you will then have the ray gun that you need why is it oh that's right I, I apologize I've just now remembered I was missing a part. So I usually forget to get the tubing. That's what happened. So let me fast forward my character here. He should be up here by now. Okay, yep. I've crafted it. And there's my character. And for brain rot, here's the element ability for it. So what you need to do is you can just get all these guys together, you charge it up, and fire. It's like a giant grenade launcher. And it'll kill all of them instantly. So this is how you craft the Brain Rot Upgrade Ray Gun Mark II. So let's go ahead and head on to the next upgrade for the Ray Gun. Okay, so after you have the map opened up, you've done your crawlers uh, lockdown, or Nova 6 lockdown, excuse me, and you've done your televisions again, like I said. You've inputted the code over here in the Rushmore. And you've got your frames. And you have your pack bunch weapon to whichever one you want to do. But for this one, we're going to be doing kilowatt. So after you get kilowatt, you need to head all the way down here into the bunkers. To get your ammo container. So you're going to head down here into the bunkers. And you're going to head all the way over here into generators. 
through beds as you can see my character is running right there and you'll see this sparking and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to shoot this with your kilowatt pack a punched gun so once you shoot it there's the container and now when you grab the container you have to go back up top so when you go back up top you're what you're actually going to be doing is and I'm trying to figure out why my character's not running but so you go back up top and after you can grab a container for the ammo you're going to have uh, Rushmore say you need more energy or more power and what he's telling you is in his way of talking the code basically is you need to come upstairs into the top area so once you shoot the top of the power poles you're going to have these yellow ores pop up and after you've got those up for each one, you're then going to have to shoot the others, but you're going to have to go around and find out which ones are active and which ones aren't. And the way to do this is you're going to have to look for those sparks, and you'll see the sparks pop up just like that. And once you see them, you shoot them with your kilowatt weapon, and as you can see, I found it. So I shot it with the kilowatt weapon, and now I'm looking for the next spark, which is right here. And basically you just do this to every power pole that's sparking and then once it's done this transformer right here will light up and you will have a soul jar for the ammo that you picked up or ammo container whatever as you can see there they are they're all sparked up they're coming down here and now you have to place the ammo container in that slot and there is your soul jar circle and again they do not have to be inside the circle you just have to be inside the circle and shoot the zombies and once it is filled up, your soul circle will disappear. And you head back over here to operations with it. And once you're in operations, you then will go up to the top where the crafting table is, which is right up here. You go up here, hold square or X, and then you have the ray gun with the kilowatt upgrade. And the ammo for this one is... A long stream kind of like Ghostbusters you'll have this stream of light that comes out and you're able to shoot it so let's go ahead and move on to the next ray gun upgrade okay everybody so once you grab your next frame the next ray gun you can craft is gonna be for cryo freeze and what you're gonna do you can't see the blue smoke but over here inside this prisoner building in this cabinet will be some blue smoke coming out of the drawer you shoot the drawer and as you can see, it'll pop out. And once it pops out, there's your ammo canister. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick that up. And then Rushmore is going to say something. It's really light. Is there even anything inside? There are three scientists in Camp Edward right now who, well, let's just say they've seen better days. Find them and collect samples from all three. Get it? So what he's basically saying is you now have three zombies that are going to spawn in and they're going to have that blue smoke coming out from them just like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to cryo-freeze them with your weapon and then you're going to kill them. And when you do, they're going to drop this blue ooze on the ground. So you now have to get three of them to do this. Now in my game, I had all three spawn in the exact same area. And see, there was the last two, so I got kind of lucky. And again, like I said, all you do is you cry freeze them, and then you kill them. I just use the galvan knuckles because it's an insta kill. And once you have all three, you now have to head back to APD control, which Rushmore, as you could hurt, as you heard, he gave you, hey, you need to head back to APD control with these things. So now that you've headed, you're heading back. What you're going to do is you're going to head over here. And right there, you're going to place the ammo container inside there. And now you have your cryo-freeze uh, soul jaw circle. So again, you're going to shoot the zombies from within the circle. They do not have to be in the circle, just you. And once it is full, you will take that container and you will take it up to operations. So here you go. You now have the cryo-freeze 
Mark II ray gun. And basically, it's kind of like a giant shotgun because it shoots out that uh, kind of like a spread, as you can see. So once you have that, you place it and you grab the next frame. And we will move on to the next uh, ray gun that you need to craft. Okay, everybody, so your final upgrade for the ray guns is going to be Firebomb. So after you grab the frame, you're going to head to one of two houses. You're going to head to either the yellow house or the green and white striped house. And what you're going to do is if you come to yellow house, usually it's this one. You'll have this cabinet right here that'll be glowing orange with some kind of orange smoke. So if that's not it, then you head over here and you check the green and striped house. And both of these are going to be in the kitchen. And what you're going to do is then you're going to shoot. There it is. As you can see, there's the smoke. So you bring your character in and he's going to shoot that open. And fire's going to come out. And when you do, there's your ammo container. So now once you have your ammo container, this one is a little bit different. So what we're going to do is take the ammo container out. And then... Once he's done, you now have to go, and of course Rushmore is going to give you a hint on what you need to do. And there it is. So you have purple smoke coming out of the chimney, and what you have to do is have a wraith fire. And you need to have the wraith fire grenade or somebody on your team to help you with this, but you need to have wraith fire, and what you've got to do is you've got to get the wraith fire to go right dead center into that chimney. Now, this is a random house. It's not always over here in operations. I think they said on Reddit it always is, and it's not. It's random houses. But the houses that have chimneys, which is the yellow house, operations, blue house, and this house will be the ones that it can randomly spawn in at. And it takes me several tries, so we're going to fast forward to me uh, trying this and trying to get it to where I finally get it. Okay, so once you get the Wraith Fire and you toss it and it goes inside the chimney, the smoke will disappear and Rushmore will say something like, you got it, you did it, or something like that. And then you need to go inside the house and in here now will be a purple flame. Now my tip, if you get this house, if you get this house right here because it's not on the edge like these others are, which are making them a lot easier to get, the best thing I can tell you to do is what I just did for this one. Get right here in this corner. You're going to aim your sights at that pole. You're going to look up. And the cloud formations are about will always about be the same. And you try to measure it the best you can. And can't really tell you. I'll put an arrow on it. But right in this area about right here is the center of where your uh, sights need to be. And then you toss the wraith fire. And then the Wraith Fire, of course, will go in. And once you've got it done, you hear Rushmore make the comment that you've got it. So now you run in, you place your canister, and you now have to do your soul jar collecting. So again, all you have to do is stay in a circle and kill the zombies from outside the circle. Fill it up, and once you have it filled, you are now able to go and get the next upgrade for the ray gun. If I can get upstairs. So you come up here, you place it, hold square X again, and you now have the firebomb upgrade for the ray gun Mark II. And the ammo's not too bad. It's, it's okay. But to me, I think my favorite one was either uh, Cryo Freeze or Brain Rot, because Brain Rot you could charge up and you can make a grenade out of it. Alright guys, so hopefully this tutorial helped you out and figure out how to do all the upgrades for all the ray guns. Each one will be timestamped down in the description below. So if this helped you out, please feel free to smash that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget that little bell so you notify all my future videos. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitch and DLive for my live streams. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, it's been your favorite penguin, the Penguinator. Signing off, happy gaming, and later!